Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Reading the Red, this um, potentially beautiful sunny day. Wonderful. I think it's going to be quite nice today. Perfect temperature for me. Um, Mark chapter 4 and verse 13. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? How will you understand all the parables? So them having come into him and basically asked to gain understanding regarding the parable, and then him having said to them, the parables are for those who are really seeking after him, and they're then saying to him, what does the parable mean? So it's like they're categorising themselves as those over there, rather than those here, because they too don't understand the reality of the parable. And so he says to them, do you not understand? And that's a question that we need to ask ourselves every time we read the scripture. Do I understand what I'm reading? Do I understand what's really being conveyed in this truth? Do I understand what the heart of God is saying to me? I believe so many Christians read the Bible for the wrong reasons. They spend their time trying to earn themselves, as it were, a place before God by trying to get knowledge. But it's not knowledge. It's the spirit of the truth regarding the knowledge. Gain an understanding of the knowledge intellectually is only a very shallow aspect of gaining an understanding. Yes, intellectually, you might be able to answer all the questions right now because you've read it and now you know. But do you know? Are you really understanding as to what it is that you've read? When you read the scriptures, you need to read it with the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit will reveal to you the revelation of the truth regarding what God is really saying and why he's saying it and how he's saying it and with what temperament he's saying it in and all the facets that go with communication. We need to pick up at the spirit level the reality of the things that we're trying to understand, not just intellectually. Intellectually is a part of it, of course, but it's not the intellectual reality of the truth that we need to know. Jesus says, do you not understand? He should have understood. They had the opportunity to understand, but he questions them because they've come and said, show us what the parable means. Do you understand? And then he goes on in frustration, I think, a little bit. and says, how will you understand any parable? Meaning, if you don't get that part of you working to enable you to gain an understanding of the spirit of the truth in the word, how will you get that part of you to understand anything I said? Christianity is built upon faith. Faith in what God has said faith in what God has said and unless we understand with that part of us that really brings forth life then the words just becomes an academic pathway that we tread in and yeah maybe there's a bit morality to it and maybe there's some structure to life but what God is wanting is to set your heart ablaze with life Set your being alive with life so that you have meaning and purpose and destiny so that you're able to share in his heart so you're able to bring about the revelation of his love to the world just as Jesus came and gave us the same truth that we are needing to share with the world. Brothers and sisters, do you read the Bible knowing that God is wanting to give to you seeds of life? See you tomorrow.